Hi. What the? <laughs> I'm always saying yo. Hi, my name is Matthew Gunzel. And I'm Andy Cook. Welcome to In The House. This is our little video thing where we're gonna pretend we know things about Quidditch. In a house. In a house. Um, it's my house, not Andy's not house. house. Um, <laughs> so, um, this was so much better in planning. Yeah. <laughs> when we were planning this, we were like, oh, we're gonna be so funny. And now it's like, yeah, not. Cool, let's um, go. We have a book with plans of things we're gonna chat about. Um, so yeah, we're basically gonna be chatting about BQC. It's um, a thing. It's, it's happening. It's happening this week. And what is BQC Guns or Two? BQC. The person who's randomly found us on YouTube. Cool. Hello, person. First of all, please don't go elsewhere um, and subscribe. We probably have a thing. We might have a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put here and hope. Subscribe. <laughs> um, BQC British Quidditch Cup um, is the national tournament in the UK where all the Quidditch teams in the UK come and compete for the title of national champion. Um, teams from all over the country, so like Falmouth, all the way up to Edinburgh, all the way across to Bangor in Wales, all the way to Norwich, come and compete for that title national champion. Um, it's in its third year now, BQC3, um, which is quite nice and catchy. Current, previous champions have been Oxford, um, and Oxford Nottingham. Oh, no, Wait, Nottingham! Nottingham. <laughs> Southampton! Oh, it was in Nottingham, mate. Radcliffe Chimera is in the first year one, yeah. the first team of Oxford, University of Oxford, and uh, last year, Southampton Quidditch Club, uh, first team one. This year? Who knows? This year, who knows? That's what we're discussing today. Uh, there's some great matchups, um, and that's kind of what we're going to be discussing later on. Is kind of like who we think is going to win it because so much has changed from last year. Is I think it's like yeah. the main thing. People <laughs> have like some conversation. Yeah, like people have come and gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a lot of teams who are different, and a lot of teams who we haven't seen play either. Like we're we're based in Derby, and so we kind of get to see like some of the north, but not really a lot of the north, and some of the south, but not really who, a lot who of the, the south. south. Right. So um, it's a really exciting opportunity for us to get to see like lots of people. Um, what we're gonna do is we're rather than going kind of through pool by pool or whatever like the Quidditch post is gonna do. You don't have time for us. Yeah, to do and that. we're not the Quidditch post. We're not Quidditch post. To be they know stuff. That we know. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do instead is our flawless guide to getting the most out of BQC. Um, and so we're gonna go through time slot by time slot with what we think is the most interesting game and which pitch you should be watching. Yeah. Um, and so these are kind of games that are gonna be closer. Um, or they kind of like, you know, it's a key game for a team to win or a chance to lose or interesting or a chance to see a team play and really kind of show off what they're about. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Should we go for it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So 8.30 is the first games of the day. and um, we've... I'm going Derby SQC2. I am going to agree with you there. Yeah. I mean, we're biased because Derby. Um, Bias-ish. Derbados. I, I feel like that... I'm going to offend a team straight off in this, but I feel that's the fight for second place in that group. Yeah. I think Warwick are going to be comfortable. Quiddlings, I feel, on their form of a bit of an underdog. Yeah. I think these two are going to be fighting for second place. Yeah, I agree. It's a nice game for both of them to start. They're going to be fresh, but you've not got time to warm up. Yeah, and you've not got time to watch the other team as well. We were saying kind of in Derby's strategy talks, it's a good thing. Because Don't spoil too much here. Derby still want to win. We've improved a lot since Compass Cup. Um, cry. Um... <laughs> And so we're kind of like glad that SQC2 don't have the opportunity to like watch us play and kind of analyse how we play. But then kind of gutted we also don't have the same opportunity for them, so... Like we've not, well not we, I'm not part of Derby now, but a Derby you are, yeah, sorry. in my heart. <laughs> but like Southampton Derby, we've only seen each other play for exactly. 12 well, months. Yeah, yeah. So, so last time they we saw them, Barringer was playing for them, so yeah, yeah, things sure. have changed. He's yeah. captain them, I think, last year. Um, for sure. Um, so I think that's on pitch two. Um, at 8.30, so pitch Could two, you written that down? I didn't think of stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm actually intelligent, yeah, mate. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> pitch two, 8.30, Derby vs SQC2. Um, check me out, I've lost weight, I look good. I look better. better. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Compass Cup. So come and check us out, we're looking good. Um, 9.30, there's a lot of kind of like interesting games in this slot. What did you go for, Andy? I think I went for the Farm of York game. Yeah. Because they've played at... Uh, Compass. Compass Cup, but I don't, I don't think they actually did play at Compass Cup, you know. They were at Compass Cup. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. But well, Falmouth have to be disciplined. They didn't do themselves justice. They bought a majorly depleted squad. I think, yeah, yeah. And I think it's the showcase event. They're going to bring a decent squad. Um, and I think um, a lot of people underestimate York as well. I mean, maybe I'm kind of biased because I'm going York next year, if you didn't know, by the way. Interesting news um, that. But yeah, kind of like York have come on leaps and bounds, they're kind of beating game and... and I, would, I would have bagged Derby to beat them any time, and yeah. then I think they've developed on what the game involves, tactics in the game. Yeah. They've 
got players. Kate, Kate Lev and Tom Stevens, I just like him. They know the game, they've taught the game, and that's yeah. the thing, you can have good players, but yeah, yeah. if you're not. This turn for like, haha, ha, we're going to determine everything about Quidditch. Well, stuff. serious. They yes. actually know things about Quidditch. <laughs> um, Wait till the South teams come up, we'll be screwed. Then. Actually, there are a lot of like male players on York who like would go underrated, and I can't tell you any of their names, so I'm really sorry. That's kind of the point All of the York, <laughs> who feel like they know me really well, and I know none of your names. Um, I once randomly picked one at bus stop up. Just Compass Cup, I saw them. For what purpose? I took them to Compass Cup, oh, okay. they were randomly at bus stop. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really good like male chaser depth in New York. Um, and then Beaters, Lewis Post is one to watch out for. Big fan of Lewis Post. Um, so yeah, that's 9.30, that's on pitch for Falmouth vs York, go check it out. Cool, 10.30, and we've disagreed this time. Yeah, I've been egotistical and said come and check out Warwick vs Derby. Uh, what did you say? I've gone for Southampton 2 vs Quiddlings. Okay, why that? I, I think it's in, these are obviously the two first second teams, like I know other teams have got one now. <laughs> the two first, first second, second teams. teams. Okay, gotcha. We've got it. Yeah. So it'll be really interesting to see how like the roster policy changes what yeah, came yeah. during the season. How they've affected them, and actually, can a second team ever live up to the hype of a first team? Because yeah. let's be honest, Oxford and Southampton are two very established, very good teams. Yeah. And is the second, like I've said about the Quiddlings, already struggled a little bit this year. But can the second team ever kind of be that good, or are they always going to be the ugly yeah, younger, yeah. younger brother? Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. There's always kind of the extent, to, you know. If the Quiddlings or SKC2 get a good player, to what extent do they just get snapped up by the first team? And I think that that's personally always an issue they're going to have. Yeah. And. Yeah. No disrespect to them. But yeah, yeah, it's just part of the structure, isn't it? Um, Warwick versus Derby, come and check it out. Why? Because Warwick beat Nottingham recently, um, and no one understands how or why. <laughs> um, and so I think it's a really cool opportunity. I'm buzzed to see how they play. Um, I know Jesus, um, from speaking to them a little bit, kind of feels like they're kind of up in their game a lot at the moment. I know Seb had a great Christmas Cup. Um, I don't know, I spoke to Lucy Q a little bit about kind of Warwick beaters and she was saying they have a lot of depth kind of outside of like Jacopo and Jesus. Which if you name, you'd go for naturally. Right, exactly. Um, so come and see them play at 10.30. I, I think say. also, like I saw on Facebook today, there's the worst trash talk ever going on between because Derby are living on their moment from last week, you see, when they won. Yeah. Not bringing it up, but... It was the worst we trash did, talk ever. We did beat you, Warwick. We did beat you. We're going to beat you again. I can say we. I was involved in Upset of the tournament. Guaranteed. Five pounds. Betting on it. Come find me day one. Um, before 10.30. Can you hear that, Scarlett? Um, yeah, Scarlett. Yeah. Yeah, you can remember anything <laughs> Warwick. <laughs> <can you>? pitch, <laughs> pitch two. Um, that is 10.30, Warwick versus Derby. Um, or SQC versus Quidlings, which I guess will be like pitch three, I think. Yeah, I didn't think to write my Who pitches knows? down. It'll, yeah. it'll be around. You'll find SQC. They'll be really annoying and loud. <laughs> Sorry. Gunzel's opinion that way. Um, all views are strictly personal. Ish. Um 11.30, we disagreed again, didn't we? Um, where's it going Yes! For that? I've gone for Chimera's Holyrood. No, you didn't. Wait, yeah, well, you did. yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. No, I did. Um, I don't really know why, it's fancy. <laughs> like, you bet Edinburgh was solid at Northern. So, yeah, Edinburgh really have been really, really good. Yeah. This time last year, they were loud running around with flags people, that's kind of all they were. But now they're, they're loud running but, around with flags and bending on the could actually be quite good. <laughs> yeah. But no, like, I am not going to call them an upset, I'm not going to say Chimeras will lose that game, but I don't think they're going to smash them. Yeah. I, think I think they'll underestimate Edinburgh. Edinburgh can do something interesting. Yeah, I think and so too. I'm looking forward to seeing them play, because they've got heart, and that's why I rate them, just because they're characters of heart. See, on that, I think Keel Squirrels versus Banger is the game to watch. Like, I'm a big Banger boy. I'm not a big Banger boy. <laughs> why did I say that? <laughs> say that again. That is not true. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Banger. Me and Jay are good mates. Um, and I get along with, like, a lot of that squad. Um, because you clearly hate Keel. Whereas, you know, Keel, clearly, um, <laughs> Mel Piper, I'm coming for you. Um, I'm not, in a Banger shirt. So um, in a Banger shirt. Um, See, I know what you've done, like, you've gone for BQC1 hype. Yeah, like you've that gone historic the, rivalry. Whereas I kind of feel there's so few of those players left that actually, is that rivalry still there? <laughs> Just a bit to Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's always going to be that rivalry, you know. It's the same with Derby and Leicester. I don't think Leicester know which is Leicester the best thing about that Leicester don't know that Derby have... They like, do now. Derby, like, full-blown, not hate. Hate is a... Strongly competitive after East Midlands. Yeah, we yeah. have a thing with Leicester, um, and they're kind of like, you know, the team are always aspiring to be. I was chatting to Phil earlier about that snitch catch I missed against Leicester at East Midlands 1, and he was like, you need to let it go. <laughs> I just can't. But I think like Squirrels vs Banger is like that as well. It's kind of like, you know, you know that the guys who got you into Quidditch had that rivalry, and it does kind of live on, um, and they grow and change. But yeah, I think Squirrels vs Banger on pitch one, 
Eleven thirty. And I'll be at Chimeras versus Edinburgh on one of the pitches. Somewhere around. Um, then there's the lunch break. What are we most excited about for the lunch break? So the lunch break has brownies. Well, the tournament has brownies, but we we thought. We're going to brush the lunch break. The lunch break both of us. I'll We're both selling together. I didn't yeah. know that, but you'll probably... Well, I'll probably I can on, that. You out. And we'll do like Shall a tag team Shall we knock the Quidditch on side and talk about brownies? Yeah. What's your favourite flavour? What, my favourite flavour? It's an important question. And now, we talked about this at Valentine. My favourite flavour is probably the salted caramel. Like, I think just life's good with salted caramel. Yeah, yeah. But I know you're a big dime fan. Dime is my homeboy. I sell dime as your favourite. Like, yeah, I was yeah. telling people it was your favourite. It, it is my favourite. It is my favourite. Now, it's one of those things, before I tried brownies, I didn't know what a dime bar was. And then, like, the brownie man was like, oh, you need to try this dime brownie. And I was like, are you sure, Martin? And he was like, try it. And it, like, changed it's my the mind. the end. Yeah. Now, what is the brownie man's favourite brownie? I know what I tell people I think it is, but... It changes every time. I, I think it's the kinder. Yeah, like he's a fan. But can you confirm? He likes crunchy as well. We're gonna have crunchy, which is the first oh, Quidditch tournament this season. It's gonna be at. We've got our biggest range of twenty flavors. Nineteen have been released. Mind blowing. One may or may not have been released by now. The exclusive flavor. Oh, the BQC three brownie. But very exciting. Tap on the nose, Barringer may or may not. If Barringer's already chunks of BQC in that brownie. <laughs> if Barringer's already released this, this is just a really random segment. <laughs> we're not telling you what it is, but you know. <laughs>